What's going on guys? My name's, nah, just kidding, I had ya. So my name's Nalik and I'm gonna be bringing you a video guide on how to do the sepulcher. So this video is aimed to help you get through all five floors fairly confidently um, and you'll make it down to the bottom to get the grand hallowed chest. So if you don't know where the sepulcher is located, it's in the city of Darkmire. You would have had to have completed the quest Sins of the Father and also have level 52 agility. All right, so this is what your gear and invent setup should look like when you're first starting out. You want to have the Dorgish and Crossbow along with a Myth Grapple. You want to have the Sarodome and Book so you can recharge your run energy at the end of each floor. You want to have some planks corresponding to your construction level along with a hammer, a saw and some nails. You want to bring the Strange Old Lockpick and some Vampire Dust. You want to have a room pouch filled with your best enchantment spell. And you also want to have some food because you're definitely going to be getting hurt in there when you first start out. And lastly, you just want to bring the prayer book so you can cure your poison if you get poisoned by a chest. Okay, so now I'm going to do a complete run of all five floors without looting any chests. Uh, if you want to mark some tiles where I've done, just pause the video, video and do so. Um, yeah, let's get it underway. You want to always watch these statues to see what they're doing first. See them shoot, you want to move across to the next square. Now if you're too late, you can move to this square. But if you can always go to that one, that's fine. So this is not intended in any way to be the fastest way possible at all. This is just the way I've learnt and the way I've found it most relaxing. At the end of each run you want to pray at that obelisk so you can get your run energy restored. So with these teleporters here, there's blue ones and there's yellow ones. If you step on the blue ones, they'll teleport you forward. If you step on the yellow ones, they'll teleport you backwards. Remember to recharge your prayer and at the end of every level. This, this is where you have to be careful where you're going to stand because if you step in these yellow ones while these other ones are coming at you, the arrows, it's going to uh, mess you up a lot. So you got to just be cautious of where you're stepping. Whenever these first ones are firing, you can move up to this square, it's safe. Wait for the next lot to finish firing and then you can move on. Now this is the obstacle that I had the most difficulty learning on. Uh, the way I figured out was the easiest is wait till the flame stops shooting and then go. And then go, make sure you're dodging the arrows as well. And then also when the next lot of flames stop shooting, go as well. You have to time it pretty perfectly to be able to get through it. But yeah, that's the one I had the most difficulty learning on. Make sure you recharge your run energy at the end of each floor. So with this sword, the way I figured it out is as soon as he throws it and it comes out, 
you just follow behind it and your path will be safe. There's another way of doing it when it comes back. After it comes back past that square, you walk to that one and then you can run through it. This one was pretty difficult to learn as well. Uh, the way I figured this one out is just to make sure you dodge these first yellow portals and then go straight for a blue one on this section and you should make it through straight away. And make sure you're watching the portal colors as well as where the arrows are coming from. I'm constantly watching those statues for sh predicting where they're going to be shooting from. Okay, so this is the last floor. This tile here is always safe. After this lot starts shooting, you want to run to this square. After that lot's shooting, you want to run to this square. And after that lot's shooting, you want to run to that square. Now what you want to do with this sword is when it's coming back, you want to run to the tile that has the blue on it at the current time when it's coming towards you. So you can do a, a skip over the sword. Make sure you're watching the, the down the end of where the arrows are coming from. And I like to walk in between each, each uh, portal here. And then this square here will get you there safely if you're struggling to get there in time. Okay, so with this one, you want to wait till this one gets fired over and then it's safe to run to. And then run to this one and then after that run to this one you want to get this fired over so wait for the flame to go over that one run to this one wait for the next flames run to this one wait for those flames and run to this one So with this one, you sort of want to do a similar sort of thing. Uh, you want to catch up to the sword, I guess, and then get to the safe spot on the side here as fast as possible. This one, you just got to keep an eye on where the statues are firing from and also use the lining to your advantage where the gaps are in it. And make sure you're not getting teleported backwards as well like that you don't want to do that okay so on this our last obstacle it's definitely the hardest they save the hardest to last i've marked these three tiles here so the white square the white squares means right side red squares mean left side so whenever it's firing left side, you want to stand on the red squares. Whenever it's firing the right side, you want to stand on the right, the white squares. Make sure you're watching, looking ahead. Same deal with this, white squares, right side flames, red squares, left side flames. You also want to be dodging constantly. Okay, 
So that's a complete run now without looting any chests. You're not going to have this much time left when you are looting the chests. But um, hopefully we get the ring here. That'll just make this video perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> Unlucky. Alrighty, so if this video helped you out in any sort of way, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and also drop into my Twitch channel. I'll be live every night from 8 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So come drop in and say hey. Hopefully, this video helped you guys out. Peace out.